Welcome to Boise Paramotors. Um, we're right here in front of our new facility in Boise, Idaho. And for you today, we're gonna review the new Vitorazzi propeller, fast spinning. And uh, we're gonna compare it with a couple different propellers. Um, the most popular in the industry would be Eprops and Helix. So, thanks to Sky Sports USA, uh, Chris and Kyle, who sent us this um, propeller free of charge to test it out and to see what we think about it and uh, we're gonna mount it on our paramotor and go fly it so let's get in and uh, we are going to check it out see what's all about here uh, two sets of propellers these are helix and eprox 130 centimeters and Chris has sent me a 130 centimeter propeller as well so Sky Sports USA rock all the way okay I'm gonna open it with my Swiss knife oh by the way I want to tell you a story about this Swiss knife so one of my Kango customers uh, he is from North Carolina and he was driving down to Oregon to pick up a trailer. He called me and he said, hey man, can I come and fly? Uh, is there any nice place that we can fly? And it was snowy outside, right? And I said, sure. His name is Waylon. So we went flying, it was like 32 degrees, snow covered, you know, and, and uh, this guy is a former uh, ranger, army ranger, I guess, once ranger, always ranger. So his uh, carburetor had to be adjusted on his Kangook. So I was gonna go and run and, and get the screwdriver for my car. And he's like, well, I have a Swiss knife in my pocket, just adjust it. So I adjust his carburetor. I put his pocket, put his pocket knife in my pocket. And, um, you know, we totally forgot about it. I did, I honestly did. He left and I texted him and I said, hey man, I have your knife. Uh, I'd like to return you, ship it back to you. What's your address? And he said, you know what? I have had this knife for 10 years, man. Thanks for taking good care of me and uh, you can keep the knife. And I was thinking, what a guy. Um, so anyways, using to open, open the box with it. Okay. So we cut. Here, gently, let's open it up. This propeller was actually made by Vitorazzi and Helix. They did it together. They wanted to create a fast spinning prop and they wanted to make sure that, you know, this propeller works for the application. So, anyways, I'm gonna pull it out and then we're gonna weigh them and see what the weight differences are between these two. This propeller is just quality, okay? Um, this hub is a little bit beefier and looks like um, it's just as thick as the E-props. If, if I can compare it, maybe just a little thinner, but it feels more solid. E-props just feels lighter, I guess. And then if we compare it with the Helix here, Helix is much thinner profile on the side, right? And it's also thinner than the um, Vitorazzi propeller. So I would say that this propeller so far, what I'm seeing is, I'm seeing that it has rigidity of helix, but it also has a performance of um, E-props. You can see that is curved right there on the top. It's a very nicely built prop with thick, thick hub here. So let's see what it weighs. I have a scale here and I'm gonna put put it on a scale. I'm gonna put both of the blades, hopefully they stay on the scale and I'll tell you exactly. This propeller weighs 881 gram, okay? So two blades, 881 gram. 
881 gram. Let's see what EPROPS weighs. So EPROPS weighs 510 grams. Now let's go and look at the Helix one. And they're all 130 centimeters propellers. Okay. And this one is 878. But I can tell you that this propeller, I think, can take rocks and chips probably very well. Rocks, uh, if you have a rock hit your propeller, you're just gonna take it as well as Helix, it's not gonna chip, right? So what we're gonna do next is we're going to take off of my motor, we're gonna take a, a three-bladed propeller off, and we're gonna put Vitorazzi one on, and we're gonna fly. I'm super stoked about this because my expectations of the propeller are that it is going to spin faster than the Helix. The profile is better than the old Helix profile. Ypres propellers are super nice and uh, they're light. But I think that this is just the ticket to find middle between Helix propeller and the Ypres propeller. For example, if you are getting into the school and you're a student and you want durable, pro durable propeller, I think Helix is a little bit more durable than EPROPS. But if you buy Vitorazzi one, that will give you best of both worlds. I think it's going to be durable and also fast spinning propeller, which will, you know, play really nice if you, if you use it during the training and then later on you want high performance propeller. Um, by the looks of it, I think the Vitorazzi is going to be the ticket to go. So let's mount it on and see how she looks. And um, next, in the next video, we're gonna go fly and compare it with the EPROPS and Helix. In this video, we showed you how it looks like, how it feels like, and what the weight it is. And uh, in the next video, we're gonna fly it and give you the feedback on it. Uh, for the propeller, for the purchasing this propeller, you can go to www.skydesportsusa.net or you can order it directly from us. And uh, we're looking forward to making another video, uh, part two, flying this propeller and giving you some feedback about it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.